going beyond the sexual fantasies, sexual longings. Sexual longings are essential aspect of aliveness. As long as you are alive, these are there. Never overlook that these are not there. Such longings to be there is quite natural and you need not be guilty about it. You must acknowledge the presence and this is the first step towards transcendence or going beyond these longings. First thing is to accept your longings. Never try to overlook or reject these. It does not matter what is your age. Even in old age people tend to have such longings and fantasies. Such longings are the outcome of repressions and the attitude towards sex that you has been brought up with and that you go on nourishing and nurturing. In your youth you must have suppressed too much. Man as you are is a universe within an outer universe. Just like the body of the universe, human body is composed of cells. These cells are connected by an electromagnetic force. This force works through electrolytes present in each cell. Individual human consciousness is byproduct of ego and mind. All states of pain and pleasure exist because of this ego-mind combination. It is because of this eternal pair of ego and mind that we have innumerable desires within us. Man requires tremendous energy to fulfill these desires. Unfulfilled desires cause illness and pain. This requires method to cure disease and pain. When you are young, full of energy and strength, you can suppress sexual desires. It is normal. There is tremendous energy within and you can pour your entire energy into suppression. However, after 42 you will become free. You have entered another cycle of your sexual energy. Slowly and slowly, every day you will become weaker and weaker. You will become weak, but the repressed sexual desires that have been accumulated for years will be much stronger for you to handle. The energy that is repressing, it will be weaker, but the energy that is repressed and accumulated over the years will become stronger day by day and the real problem starts after you attain the age of 42. People do not know this at all. They do not know the ways of energy. Also they do not know how this existential bioenergy works. They have not explored this energy and its functionings meditatively. In the process over the period of time, the repressor person will become weak, but all that has been repressed never becomes weak. The repress goes on accumulating, your desires, your longings goes, go on accumulating. Ultimately, these reach the point of explosion. And when the repression begins to explode, you have no control over it. The repression also comes because of your taboos, religious upbringings and lack of understanding of the movement bioenergy properly. This is what happened to vast humanity. Husbands and more so go on washing their dirty linen in public after the age of 42. I would like to narrate an incident that I have heard. A young monk had mentioned his problems. He was near about 35. He was living the life of absolute celibacy. It is only a question of few more years that I have to fight with sexual 
desires. He inquired exactly how many years it will take. He was told that you are already 35 and you can go on fighting continuously but he was tired of fighting and he said up to now I have succeeded but how many more years I have to suppress these longings. So he was told that do not ask me because the real problem is still ahead of you. The real problem has not happened as yet. It happens only after the age of 42. But he did not pay any attention. He was told that right now you are full of energy. You can repress your sexual desires. But after 42, your physical energies will weaken. Slowly and slowly, every day you will become weaker. And But your repressed sexual desires that have been accumulated for years will be very strong. The energy that is repressing it will be weaker, but the energy that is repressed will become stronger. And he said, nobody has told him like this. People say by the time you reach 45, if you can manage to keep yourself celibate, the problem disappears. He was told they do not know. They do not know the ways of energy. The repressor will become weak, but the repressed energy never becomes weak because the repressed, all that you repress accumulates. After near about 10 years, he again met and he mentioned, you were right. Now I am on the verge of breaking down. Now the urge is so intense as it has never been. I am not in a situation to fight. I am tired, defeated and weak. You were right. But I did not listen to you then. And all the people have been telling me that after 45 the problem disappears. Either was deceiving me or they were deceiving themselves or they were utterly ignorant, unaware of how energy functions. This is how it goes on. Man has repressed sexual fantasies and longings. This is how people are brought up, particularly in a traditional and conventional society. Religious person is one, is considered to be one, who suppresses all his natural desires. And when you advance in age, it really looks embarrassing. The older you grow, the more embarrassing it will become but more persistent it will be. 24 hours a day, life becomes obsessed with sex. And this is what has been done to you by your society and religions. The society has created a kind of a split in you. You are now divided within and separated from your true nature. It is never too late. Therefore, never be worried or feel embarrassed. Remember, if God has given you sex and the longings for it, then it is perfectly right. It is divine. You have not created it. Then why do you feel embarrassed or ashamed of it? It is instinctive. If you really want to feel embarrassed, feel embarrassed because you are brought up for in a particular religious belief and for 60 or 70 years you have allowed foolish people to dominate you. Feel embarrassed that you were not intelligent enough to get out of this prison in which you were accidentally born. But there is no need to feel embarrassed about sex and the longings for it. It is natural. Being Hindu or Christian or Muslim or Buddhist or Jew is not natural. It is an accident. Feel embarrassed that for so many years you have been doing... <coughs> Feel embarrassed that for so many years you have been doing such harm to your nature. Only through such understanding 
one day you will realize that all longings and fantasies have vanished and you are once again childlike innocent. Accept your sexuality, say yes to it. Remember only by saying yes to it, there is a possibility of going beyond it. Yes is in, indeed the stepping stone. Without yes, you cannot reach the other shore. Certainly yes becomes the boat. Therefore stop saying no. Be less part of an organized religion. Be less of a fanatic instead of being an idealist. Be a little more realistic. I have heard one day John's wife passed away. As normally happens with every wife, John was, he was almost inconsolable. At this cemetery, he collapsed with grief. On way back home, he continued sobbing widely. Now all his friends tried to console him. One of them said, it is really not so bad. I know it is tough now. But in six months time, maybe, another beautiful person and before you know, you just get married again. Hearing this melancholic John turned towards his friend in rage and said, Six months? You crazy or what? He shouted, What I am going to do tonight? You may laugh at John. But this is more natural. He is not embarrassed about it. He accepts it. Even though you may be 60 or 70 or 80 years of age, you are sex because it has remained somehow unfulfilled. It is not 70 years old. Your sex is certainly 70 years young. Now there is going to be difficulty. You are 70 years of age and sex is 70 years young. Your life energies are low and your repressed longing are stronger. But if you accept it, embrace it and take it naturally, still it is not too late. In the East we have a saying, even if you Come back home when sun is setting, it is never too late. Therefore gather courage, there is no need to feel embarrassed, at least deep down accept it. Even though you may not be able to move into a sexual relationship, be total in your very acceptance. Remember, the halfway will not do anything. If you accept totally, even that very acceptance will heal the wound. There may be the, no need to actually move into a sexual relationship that may be even dangerous, that may create more problems for you than it will solve. I have heard one Friday afternoon Mullah Nasruddin appeared before a justice of peace in a small town and had a marriage ceremony performed. Mullah must have been near about 80 and the girl was only 22. Then they drove to a motel and checked in for their honeymoon. They had a lively evening together. The next day Mullah raised the window shade just to take a look outside, pulled it down again and went to bed. The following Sunday morning, Mullah repeated the performance. He raised the shade again, looked out for a moment and then pulled it down and went back to the bride. On the third morning, he again raised the shade. He flew up with it. So it can be dangerous. I am not telling you to find a young one again. You may be too old for it. 
but nobody is too old to accept something that he has been denying drop condemning it respect your nature mystical understanding is the moment you accept something totally the very acceptance brings a revolution and a radical change it is your energy therefore accept it it will make you stronger and when you reject it it keeps you weak fighting with your own energy is dissipating it and fighting with your sex will take so much of your time and so much of your energy that you cannot cope with it and then when you are going to look at god who is knocking on your door stop fighting absolutely start respecting drop condemnation nothing is sin not sex at least it is a natural phenomena if people are allowed to live it naturally then at the age of 14 they will become flooded with it but in an unnatural society they will be flooded before their time in the western hemisphere the boys and girls are becoming sexually mature earlier than anywhere else in every other country the boys become sexually mature at 14 however in the western world with all that paraphernalia that is available boys are getting mature sexually mature even before the age of 14 there is too much sex around in the movies on the television and everywhere people are becoming sexually obsessed before their age this is ugly ill and premature in the east long time the opposite used to happen people remain sexually interested even when they are 60 70 80 or 90 they may not say so but they remain obsessed with it and this you can see in their behavior in a natural society children will become sexually flooded at 14 with a beautiful energy and by the time they attain 42 the energy will disappear suddenly as it appeared at the age of 14 if a person lives naturally without any interference then between 14 and 42 his sexual energy will give him tremendous joy great experience of ecstasy and not only will this be this he will get the first glimpse of god or meditation or deep ecstasy and by the time it disappears it will leave you ripe mature centered and very deep rooted the first step towards transcendence and going beyond is to accept it totally it is never too late although the sun is setting if you can come home before sunset and can become natural and spontaneous about yourself authentic and true at least to yourself you will be able to face god with a smile on your face you will be able to enter death dancing and singing and a death that can be welcomed with a dance and song is not death at all it becomes the door to the deathless it leads you into immortality therefore accept it totally and then one day you can go beyond it